My name is Kylie Kristen Jenner. I was 17 when I launched Kylie Cosmetics. Kylie Cosmetics just revealed a big collaboration with Target. Is Kylie Cosmetics going out of business? Kylie Cosmetics, launched in 2016, quickly became a beauty sensation. However, it seems to have lost its allure in recent years. Despite Kylie's efforts to keep the brand trendy with frequent product launches and updates, it struggled to maintain consumer interest. Many beauty influencers no longer promote Kylie's products, and the brand's latest launches often get overshadowed by subsequent releases. The main problem appears to be the overwhelming frequency of product drops. Kylie Cosmetics has launched multiple products this year alone, like foundations, lip butters, and perfumes, sometimes on a monthly basis. This constant barrage of new items has led to a lack of excitement and consumer fatigue. For example, Kylie's lip butters, despite being well-reviewed, failed to gain traction because they were quickly overshadowed by other new launches. The recent Target partnership, announced through a vague Instagram post, was initially met with much anticipation. However, when it was revealed that Kylie Cosmetics would be available at Target via Ulta Beauty, the excitement quickly turned to disappointment. The public's reaction was tepid, with many expressing that they weren't interested in the products and were instead hoping for other potential collaborations or products. Many comments on the announcement criticized Kylie's brand, with some suggesting that the move to Target is a sign of desperation to offload unsold stock. The sentiment is that Kylie Cosmetics, once seen as high-end, is now struggling to compete in a more accessible retail environment, possibly signaling a decline in the brand's prestige and sales. Furthermore, comparisons are being drawn with other celebrity brands that have found success in Target, like Fenty Beauty. While Fenty's strategy involved offering mini-collections to attract budget-conscious shoppers, Kylie's approach might be too little, too late. Her brand's sales have been dropping steadily, and the recent move to Target might reflect a strategy to boost flagging numbers.